Hello, and welcome to this Cambrian College Television News Bulletin. It's Friday, February 19th. On the bulletin today, there may be some extra cash coming your way soon. Local bands lend a helping voice to Haiti, and Cambrian hosts basketball teams from all around the province. But first, an update on the students on the potential faculty strike at Cambrian College. At this time, a slim, a slim majority of Cambrian profs have voted against a strike. However, up to the 500 votes province-wide still need to be counted. Well, the mail-in ballots have arrived. No word yet on the results. The Ontario Labour Relations Board is in the process of counting those ballots to determine whether they will change the outcome. As it stands, 51% of the faculty have accepted the college's offer. Even though a strike looks unlikely at this point, the threat of one has forced a few changes here at Cambrian. Earlier this month, the college canceled the annual award ceremony, fearing it would coincide with a faculty strike. Successful students are expected to receive their scholarships and bursaries in the next week or so. Christine Cowden is the awards officer for the college. She says they are simply trying to figure out pickup dates. Cowden says students will receive an email in the next few days telling them where, when, and how to pick up their checks. In other news, the president of Laurentian University was chosen as the personality of the year in education by Le Droit Radio Canada. Dominic Giroux was honored during a gala event held earlier this week in Gatineau, Quebec. The awards highlight people who set themselves apart through their commitment to their communities. Cameron College President Sylvia Barnard says Giroux has really certainly demonstrated his commitment, not only as a university leader, but also in the provincial ministries of education and colleges, training, and universities. She congratulates him on the recognition. Now, we take a look at the world of arts and entertainment, here with Melissa Bukowski. Thanks, Pat. Get ready to be entertained. Cambrian Theatre production students are putting the final touches on their upcoming play. Thornlow and Cambrian have been collaborating on the production of Shakespeare's A Midsummer Night's Dream. Thornlow provides the talent, and Cambrian provides technical production. The play opens March 4th and runs for two consecutive weeks. And this weekend, Sudbury bands are helping Haiti. This Saturday, several local bands like Cold Crush and the Blues Brothers will perform at the 1500 Pub. Doors open at 8 p.m. and the show starts at 9 p.m. A $10 donation is required at the door. You must be 19 or over to get in. And that's all for your entertainment news. Back to you, Pat. Thanks, Melissa. That was Melissa with Arts and Entertainment. Cambrian student president, Jamie, Helenach is reminding you to vote this March. Cambrian Students Administrative Council is holding elections from March 16th to 18th. The Director of Clubs and Association and SAC President positions are up for re-election, each with two candidates. Helenach says students should vote because SAC represents their voice. You can vote online by logging on to Student 411. And speaking of SAC, if you turn to the SAC or the Cambrian Shields website to find out about those candidates, you would have found a Turkish script and military imagery on their home pages. Well, that's because both websites were recently hacked. The head of information technology at Cameron College says this isn't the first time. Michael Alloy says that the new security tool is expected to be put to use next week to stop the hacker. And now we turn our attention to sports with Rudy Muteba. Thanks, Pat. Cameron College's basketball team is getting ready for its final two games of the season. The Golden Shield plays Georgians College and George Brown. The OCAA Men's Basketball Championships start next Friday, and uh, the two top teams from each division qualify, and the following six play in qualifying games. Cameron College is currently ninth place in the East, and with a win on the weekend, they would qualify for the playoff round. And staying with Cambrian College sports, the college will host the OCAA Women's Volleyball Championships, and that's starting next Thursday. Cambrian College will be hosting eight teams from around the province. The tournament crowns a provincial champion. And the Golden Shield play a deciding game on the weekend, and they're on the road visiting Niagara College, and the win guarantees them a spot in a tournament. Log on to OCAA.com for information on the tournament schedule. And if Cambrian team qualifies, we'll bring you live coverage of the OCAA Women's Championships right here online at www.cambrianshield.ca. So check it out. And that's it for sports. Thanks, Rudy. There's certainly a lot going on before students head out on the March break. By the way, if those midterms and pre-break deadlines are stressing you out, you can get that checked out on campus next week. The Health and Wellness Clinic will be checking blood pressure, 
next Wednesday from 11 to 1. There will be booths set up in the main foyer at Cambrian. Be sure not to smoke, drink caffeine, or exercise 30 minutes before coming. And that's all for us today. This Cambrian College News Bulletin has been presented by the Broadcast New Media Program. My name is Patrick Demers, and have a good week.